Hey guys, hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. So um today is Monday and I have I feel like this week is gonna be like an errands week. So first of all I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I just started on in the video. Personally, I'm also doing well. I had like a cold last week, but now I'm feeling better. I just have like a sore throat left, so that's what I'm just trying to like gargle salt water and warm water, hot salt, warm salt water to just like clear up my throat. But um, yeah, this week is gonna be an errands week. Today, I actually just came from doing my nails. When was this? Saturday. I did my nails, and I think they look cute. It's just that there's been some chipping, so I need to get that fixed. And then I'm going to the office today to clear out my stuff. Um, officially, like leaving work. So I don't even know. Like I have, I'm sure you guys don't know about that. Like it's been a couple of months, but um, I just I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I wanna do yet i don't know if i want to look for other jobs i don't know if i should try and like do more content in the meantime i'm just in that phase where i just i'm trying to figure things out trying to understand and you know also sometimes content creation i feel like i'm not always 100 percent sure that every month i'm gonna have a campaign so that's also something so ideally i'd love to get to a point where my content makes my money for me fully but i'm not there yet but i know i'll get there with time and consistency so i'm really just trying to build and interact and build my brand on instagram on youtube so if you see my work please don't be shy of supporting commenting liking sharing with people um all of that usually just helps bring your content more to more people but i um, mean yeah, so I am headed there and then I need to go to the bank. My mom sent me and I also need to go to my bank. Bank charges have come back, you guys. I literally have been using a student account since, I don't know, since I was in uni. And after COVID, during COVID, like we weren't, like our, I think there were no bank charges whenever you do any transactions. So now that they're back, I'm feeling like, mm, oh my gosh. But anyway, yeah, that is the plan of the day. And then, so it's fixing my nails. Fixing my nails, going to going to the office, going to the office, going to the bank, fixing my nails, dropping off something, one of my friends thing, just around work, and then now come home, sit down. I haven't even really done like my whole reset thing. I wanna like look into that content planning. So this week, and I also need to remove my hair. I need to do something different. So there's quite a lot I need to do this week, but I'm um, just wanted to. Say hi to you guys and I feel like you know I haven't picked up my camera in a while but I like I, like it just brings me joy so yeah outfit of the day you guys have already seen it I'm wearing this um what do you call this I'm wearing this um poof fleece fleece jacket and this bodysuit now actually it's supposed to be that's the front but then it's giving too much boobies so i'm not gonna be able to do that and i'm pairing it with a skirt uh you know just a gingham checkered skirt and some skin tights and some sneakers that is our bit of the day so i think i'm gonna leave you guys here catch up with you guys another time probably tomorrow or when i get home we'll see how everything goes because i'm not even sure i'm gonna carry my laptop my camera yeah it might be mm, we'll see we'll see Anyways, let me quickly dash, get my sunglasses, get my water, and then uh, leave because it's currently 12.15 and I need to be there at least by 1.30 so that I'm done with everything and leave by 2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
try not to, but it hurts me when you won't spare me a glance, God. But I would do for a chance to be a man. I must be done. Good afternoon, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's literally my battery is flickering. How long will this last? Let's see. So it's currently Saturday. Um, a bit dolled up. I removed my hair yesterday. I undid my braids yesterday myself. I can't, it took a while. Hey, I was so tired, but I finally managed to undo my braids. And then after I washed my hair, conditioned. Camera is back on. Camera is back on. But I was saying today is actually Saturday, and yesterday I removed my hair, washed it, and then installed these bantu knots. I used that thread so that they can just stay on for longer. But I just wanted to come in here, show you guys my outfit. Let me show you guys. So yes, this is my outfit of the day. I got this dress from Live Hekaya a while ago. It was back in the day when it was still Velvet Kenya. And at the moment, we are headed to my cousin, not my cousin, my sister's friend's house, because we're gonna do a small throwdown. I'm gonna be making pilau and a salad, and I think she's gonna be making chapati, and I don't know, we'll see, but I know I'm making pilau, so I wanna head out. I doubt I'll be able to carry you guys, cause, yeah, I don't tell people to carry you guys, so probably I'll just catch up with you guys maybe after. But I hope you guys have been well. I'm feeling so nice. I'm feeling so cute. I'm feeling so nice. And yeah, I don't know. When you, whenever you look good, you always feel good. So uh, that is my vibe. Loving, loving, loving the bantu notes. I think I should probably get used to doing this more often. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come in, check in with you guys, and. Um, I think we will probably catch up tomorrow because I have a lot of things I need to do within the week so we'll probably hang out then so yeah, happy Saturday! Um, hey guys! Hello, hello guys! So today is currently Tuesday and I think I left you guys on Sunday and it was fun! We cooked, I cooked my favorite signature food, I made some pilau and my sister made chapos and we chilled. I think after we, we, we came back home around like 2 a.m. or so, we stayed there for a while. It was really, really fun though, but today is currently Tuesday. I have so many issues. My nail came off. And these are actually my natural nails so the what do you call it like the gel thingy came off so i need to get that fixed i'm not sure when but i also need to get my hair done as well eh, being a woman anyway so at the moment i am oh <laughs> so at the moment i just want to dash it's currently 3 p.m almost 3 p.m and i'm supposed to be meeting karen my friend i haven't seen her in a hot minute so we're probably just gonna go to that cafe have a coffee date catch up chill but i wanted to like start off the vlog here because i know when i'm with her i won't get a chance to like talk much because we're gonna be chilling and whatnot but here always as usual showing you guys the outfit of the day so i'm wearing this sleeveless denim i've had it for so long i bought it in uni i remember it i just bought it randomly you know those times when you just call your dad dad send me this money quickly i need to get an outfit i saw it i can't leave it that's what happened with this so i'm wearing this um denim and a small and a, like a printed a striped vest and some skinny jeans just normal jeans and sandals that is my outfit of the day um i wanna take the walk now because it's not really far from home it's just a short like five ten minute walk so i'm gonna do that and i'll catch up with you guys probably there or again within the week so yeah <laughs> I used to binge watch her man these days. <laughs> but anyway, I said I'll just like snap you guys like a few shots here and there. But now it's time to chill. It's giving you? Yeah, you're just giving fashion didi. Fashion didi. Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are feeling well. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are amazing. So it's currently Monday, wishing you guys a new week, happy new week. Um, I think I left you guys last week on Friday, right? Or it's Thursday, was it? And I was saying that I wanna make my hair and do my nails. So I got to do my hair on Friday. 
These are Fulani braids that I got done at the Perfect Hair Studio in town at um, near the bazaar or is it the bazaar building i'll leave it on the, on the screen so that you guys can check it out um the girl the lady is who does my hair is Marcy, and she's super super neat like can you just look at that these are from friday they are very very nice and neat um i only have like some pain with these last um what do you call them these last ones over here <laughs> <laughs> my brother just walked in and you're saying yeah i just have some pain in this last one because it was done by a different person like okay the front was done by Marcy, and then the back was done by one of her girls and over here was a bit tight and it's still painful it has like a bump but i'm just using like eyes hi guys i just came from work entrepreneur life what <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so I was saying, yeah, the hair is a bit, the back is just, like, some of it is a bit painful, but it's it's okay. Everything else is fine. I think on Saturday and Sunday, we had a conference at church, so I really didn't get to vlog or anything. It was powerful. It was amazing. It was just eye-opening. It was a blessing to be there. And I had a friend. I invited a friend over, which was also really, really nice. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I got to do my hair. Mm, I need to do a reel. I started doing a reel like showing the hair before and after so I need to finish that. Probably I'll do that tomorrow. And then um, I did my nails. So let me guys, let me tell you guys a story, a quick story about these nails. So I got them done two, three weeks ago. So when I went to see them, it was on the second week. So the first week I got them done like on Friday and on Saturday they were chipping. On Sunday, half of them were chipped. So I had to go to the shop again on Monday and do them. So I went and did that. Then on Wednesday again, they started chipping again, but this time I couldn't go because I was busy and I didn't know I wasn't going to town. So by the time I got to see them was on Friday and I went there in the morning and then when I reached, I usually went to my same, I usually go to the same, same person who does my nails and he was like, Ati, I can't, what do you call it like Ati, i can't fix them because they already look they already like what do you call it like zisha they already stayed in of which they didn't they stayed for two weeks and i didn't even complete the two weeks because that's when you're able to like get them redone so he said all he can do is just remove them and then i just go bare like that so my natural nails just look so bare and then i just go like that or i pay again to get the service done and i was like what attitude i'm not i'm not gonna be part of this i'm done i'm not gonna come back to this place again i'm done with it and then um i i messaged them on on whatsapp and i told them like i'm really not happy about your service i legit did my nails here i came and complained and told you that I came and complained and told you that I needed my nails fixed because it was their fault that they were chipping. I didn't go chipping my nails by myself by biting or whatever. So she was like, oh, oh my God, sorry, who did that? Who told you? And then um, we, they told me like, just come back and get them done. So I went, them, I went there and got them redone, cut my nails a bit shorter because one of them broke completely. So I was like, you know what, it's fine. I'll just cut them so this is, it's like I'm starting all afresh again, but it's fine. I'm glad that they gave me back like, like they made me feel like my, my opinion mattered because what I was getting from from my normal guy, nail guy, is that I have to pay again and it's my fault. He actually said like he's been doing nails for long and other people have never complained. So why am I complaining? And I was like, what? Are you serious? I'm out. Anyway, long story short, got them done. Happy about that. Um, so I think I'm gonna be vlogging more from this side because the house is currently packed. My brother's room is packed. My sister's room is packed. My mom's room is packed. So the only place that's unpacked is down here. And I'm not yet done doing this room. It's taken me so so long, and I feel so bad because I was doing it with some other people, like collaborating wise. So some of them feel a bit delayed, but I'm just been telling them that you know at least let's get let's let's rather wait and complete it other than just like do a reveal when it's mid done so yeah i need to get the carpets done wall to wall installation i need to get a mirror then i need to fix some of the wallpaper that are chipping in a bit i need to find someone to do that so yeah 
yeah, that is where I am at. But today is Monday, so I have feel I've been feeling like I've been out of it for a while. Like it's like I don't have a routine because I'm not working at the moment, but I'm job hunting, and that is what I'm actually doing right now. Let me place you guys over here. I was saying that um, I'm not working at the moment, so my routine is kind of like all jacked up. I need to like figure out my mornings and midday and whatever because. Sometimes I find myself like it's been a few weeks, three weeks, and I'm not worried. I feel like this job hunting space is so tedious. I feel like that's literally a separate video. Like if you guys would like me to talk about like you know life after uni, the real hard truths about like working in Kenya, working in corporate, working in agency the whole pre-working space where like you're looking for the job and then when you get it and then after like it's it's crazy I'm probably gonna do a different video with that i actually wanted to do it with one of my friends because we are on the same boat like we've been working for a while after school and the experience has just been crazy they're good times but they're also bad times and the bads are bad anyway so at the moment i just want to um basically i actually even have this whole bag, this is a bag I got from work where I was working before, where my laptop, I used to put my laptop. So this bag, so I've decided I'm gonna be using this bag on a daily to transport my stuff from upstairs to downstairs. Cause I usually carry my laptop books and just like this and what if anything falls. So I'm usually, so I'm gonna be using this bag. And I, I like it, it's nice and big. It has my stuff inside, uh, my planner, my notebook, the book I'm reading currently, my prayer journal. These are things that I always use in the morning when I come down from bed because I really like to do my devotion when I'm alone. So this space is nice because I'm not just a people. If it's my mom calling me, like, I don't like, I feel like I'm not like, I'm not so, yeah. Anyway, so at the moment, just getting my stuff ready. No sulfates, no parabens as well, 
and I think I worked with this brand in 2018 when I was starting the whole content scene and it was a nice event. I remember I went to Black Lab. I'll, I'll probably like put it somewhere over here so that you guys can see. And then I also got this uh, honey and butter hair conditioner detangler. You can use it as a uh, detangler or a conditioner just normally. And I think that it smells really nice. It smells really, really nice. So I got that as well for 15 hours. But I think it was the same price. And then I got myself a honey cream.